Welcome back to The Survival Guide. Next, we're gonna be talking about testing, a critically important topic for COVID-19. There are two different types of tests that you need to understand. The first is a test looking for the presence of the virus itself. That's the polymerase chain reaction test, or PCR. The next is the test looking for the host response. That'll be the antibody test. Let's take a little bit more look at both of these tests. First, the PCR. The PCR is a reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. How this works is a sample is taken from a patient from their nose, oropharynx, maybe deeper in their lungs, and it's brought to the lab where reagents will break apart the caps of the virus and we will put in a primer to replicate RNA from the virus. This replication will occur hundreds of thousands to millions of times to the point where we've created enough RNA that it can be detected as positive in the lab. This would indicate a positive test, and PCR tests can be positive fairly early in the course of COVID disease. In fact, PCR tests can be positive before the patients even develop symptoms. This is why we're worried about asymptomatic shedders, people passing the virus to others before they even know they have it. Importantly, the PCR test uh, can also still be positive after patients are no longer infective. You see, the issue is that Patients will develop an immune response. They will overcome the virus to the point where the virus is no longer infective. But because the PCR test is detecting for presence of these viral particles, it can still test positive or detect virus even though the patient can't transmit the virus anymore. That's when antibody tests comes into play. Antibody tests look for the presence of a host response to the virus. There are two main types of antibody tests we look for. They're the IgM and the IgG antibody. These antibodies are detected through a serological assay, meaning a blood assay, called an ELISA, an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. This test is very specific, 95 plus percent specificity. So it's a very good test. The issue with antibody tests is that they don't become positive until about two weeks after symptoms have started. So I'm seeing people testing for the antibody way too early at the, let's say, initiation of symptoms. I wouldn't expect the antibody to be positive at that point. I'd wait two weeks or more. Importantly, the IgM test will start to tail off at about the five week mark, but the IgG test will remain positive. This will be important moving forward so we can detect from an epidemiological standpoint who has had an immune response to the virus. I hope this video talking about COVID-19 viral testing was beneficial to you. Please do subscribe to our channel and look for more videos in the future.